Tonight, a new sense of urgency to free hostages following the release of two Americans held in Gaza. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Judith Renan and her 17-year-old daughter Natalie released on Friday after nearly two weeks in captivity. President Biden speaking to the pair from the Oval Office. I just want to say thank you for your services for Israel. Well, I, 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 look, that's, that's been a long serving. I'm just delighted we're able to get you out. This giving new hope to the families of at least 200 other hostages still held by Hamas, like the family of 19-year-old Adan Alexander. I'm sorry, like I'm crying the whole morning. Don't be sorry. <sighs> I mean, Mom, how are you feeling? It's really tough. Adan graduated from high school in New Jersey last year, then volunteered to serve in Israel's defense forces. How did it feel when you learned that two American hostages... Okay, so all my body was like this. I was shaking. His mom, Yael, says Adan was working near the Israel-Gaza border on October 7th. She saw him days earlier, and they spoke on the phone that morning. And he's like telling me, Mom, yeah, this, that, it's like crazy, it's like World War II here. He said that? Yeah, a lot of uh, bombing. So this is his room? Yes, this is Idan's room. That's the last she heard from him. Officials tell the family Adan is alive and being held hostage by Hamas in Gaza. When they told me that, I was like breathing for a second because I knew, okay, so we have a hope now. Adan's sister Mika says they must channel their hope into action. The 17-year-old speaking at a rally in Times Square. Please don't forget Idan or any of the other hostages. Yael says she's confident in U.S. officials, joining a Zoom call with President Biden and other families earlier this month. So do you believe the U.S. government yes, is yes, doing enough? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they're, yeah. they're doing it. And we have a proof on Friday. The family hoping Friday's release marks the first of many. If Idan was to be watching this, whether in English or Hebrew, what would you want to tell him? I'm just wishing that he's really strong over there. Every time when I spoke with Idan, I would say to him in Hebrew, Neshama Sheli, it's my soul. I just hope that they will bring him home and my soul will come back to me. Zinclair Samoa, NBC News, Tenafly, New Jersey. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.